Hello everyone, I wanted to talk today about a little experiment that I did yesterday. As some of you who followed me for a while know, I've been working for years to uh, learn a technique called queer bui, which is boiled leather, if translated directly. It's a method of hardening leather so that it can be used to make things like cases, uh, armor in particular in this case, and uh, other objects that need to be made from leather but maintain a rigid form. It's known for being incredibly strong, uh, but easy to work. Now, the name is a bit of a misnomer. Pretty much every source that I've looked into agrees that boiling leather was not the actual method used. Now, this is because when leather is boiled, the boiling process actually makes the fibers incredibly brittle, even though they become quite hard, so it's easy to crack and damage if there's any kind of tension put on the leather. But the name does give some idea of how this might have been done. When you submerge leather in water, the water has to work its way into the fibers of the leather. So the leather starts releasing bubbles and produces a hissing sound, similar to putting something in boiling water, which is one of the theories for why it's called what it is. Now, in this particular instance, I did a little something special. You might notice I have two pieces of leather here. This one is made of normal vegetable tanned leather, about three millimeters in thickness. Uh, the way that I've treated it is by gluing two pieces together back to back and heating them in an oven that's about 170 degrees Fahrenheit for four to five hours. After this, I coated it again in an outer layer of glue to help make things perfectly hard. I did something similar for this. Most of the process, except for this one, I haven't put on the outer layer of glue and the leather is slightly different. Now, if you look very closely, if I can get the camera to adjust, you might notice that there is a very thin line. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get the camera to show it well. But, ah, there we are. Right along that edge. A very thin line of white. That's rawhide. That's because this is half tan leather. It's used in uh, several Nordic countries for making knife sheets. And basically what happens is that the tanning process of the leather is interrupted. So while the outer layer becomes vegetable tan leather, you still have a core of rawhide inside. This makes the leather very easy to work when it's wet, but when it, hard when it dries out, it hardens and becomes very stiff. And the process of baking the leather only increases that. So what you would have is a somewhat flexible, but very hard and sturdy leather. Uh, when I cut both of these out, having nailed them down to a board to be heated so that they didn't deform in shape, this one was significantly harder to cut out than this one which means it's cut resistant, which means it's protective. Now, this one has a few errors in its production. You might notice along this edge, there's some places where it's separating slightly. That's because I mixed up my glues. I accidentally used the glue that I use for cases instead of the glue that I tend to use for armor. So next time I do this, I'll use a thicker glue with a uh, lower percentage of water mixed in with a high glue and that should provide me with what I'm looking for. Now, this also brings to mind my idea that, from my experiences, I think there are probably different methods used for Weebly, because the kind of results I get from making something like this aren't necessarily the same as what I'd get for trying to make a leather case, or for making, uh, say, a drinking vessel they seem to have slightly different results. For example, I don't think using glue is a good idea in a drinking vessel because the when it gets wet, uh, there can be problems. It'll start softening up, and if it's wet too long, it can actually start spoiling. So we're going to experiment with more methods of doing that. But this is a good step forward in making leather armor. So keep your eyes peeled. You might see some cool things in the future. Thank you.